Um, so I'll do that. And then I am, oh no. Have I been out of focus this whole time? Yes, Easton took the bus to school. I just dropped off Capri at preschool. Uh, we're so proud of both of them. Easton is a big kindergartner this year, so he's just doing awesome. He's learning to read. Oh, there goes one of the school buses. He's learning to read, and it's just been so fun to watch. So um, I always say if I didn't have kids or a dog, I swear I wouldn't get out of bed sometimes. Um, let me turn off my air here. So now I'm going to get ready to walk our dog Ryder. He's our six-year-old terrier and we only have one dog now. We had to say goodbye to our 16-year-old healer Max in September. He was the best buddy there for both my cancers and so much more. Um, I am just... We, we just miss him and love him, and um, so yeah, we're a one dog family. So I'm gonna get out and walk, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. It's time for some me time after all that morning with kids. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm eating, right? You guys saw my overnight oats. I'll show you my lunch today. A um, Couple appointments today. Um, I have the chiropractor. I don't always see a chiropractor. I tend to see them as needed, and it's been really years, but I was having some neck strain, and um, I went last week, um, really, really tight neck, right? I'm a dental hygienist and it stems from having really tight traps, which I, I get a monthly massage because I feel the benefits for my body as a dental hygienist, as a mom, as a person, you know, of just doing that monthly maintenance. But this had gotten too much and it was really hurting my neck. So, um, I took an ibuprofen, I tried like some heat and then uh, I went to the chiropractor though and he popped and released like everything and it was amazing because not only did he crack my back like I felt like like it f literally felt like not just a physical release but a very emotional release that day I was also doing one of my cancer coach um, modules and there was a story I'm gonna share the story with you guys this is so this is big okay so in my cancer coach program, the woman that has done it for many years has lots of stories. She worked with Dr. Lawrence LaShawn who wrote Cancer as a Turning Point. I just ordered that book and I'm excited to read it. So if you're looking for a good read on your cancer journey, this could be good. Um, so Dr. Lawrence LaShawn is telling a story of overhearing a mom at a cancer center and her story is this. She has a child with leukemia, four years old and they're at home when they get a call from the hematologist that the blood work did not come back good the cancer's back the mom gets off the phone and she's crying and her child who's playing nearby says mommy what's the matter and she said well the doctor called and he said that the lab results weren't looking good and we need to go back and start treatment and the child kind of went on playing for a moment and, and then paused and looked up to the mom and said, it's okay, mommy, where I'm going is really beautiful. And I only came here for a short time to teach you how to love. And when I heard this story, I can't even tell you, like the floodgates just opened for me. Um, you know, it, I, we don't realize how much emotion we have built up during this journey sometimes because we're so busy being so strong for ourselves, for others, for whatever reason. And you can do that because it's not fun to cry all the time. But when you really reflect on what you've been through, it's emotional. And when you hear things like this from a, a mouth of a four-year-old, that a four-year-old can accept that the illness is what it is, um, that they were only here for a short time anyways, and they were here to teach us to love. Like, that is the most beautiful thing I have ever heard, is how I felt. And so I sobbed. I sobbed, guys. And then I went to the chiropractor, got all cracked and released, and I went to bed that night just feeling groggy and just like, like I had a huge emotional and physical release that day. And um, that evening, I actually celebrated my friend that passed away from stage four breast cancer, her birthday, with her husband and her parents and some friends. So, I mean, I had this whole day of just 
what needed to happen. And I had no idea, but all of that needed to happen. My physical body needed to release tension and my mental you know, health needed to release something. And then I needed to go be with some friends and celebrate the life of someone very special that is no longer here. She passed away at the age of 37 and um, battled it for two years. And I am just so proud of how she handled everything. And I miss her every day. And full circle. Um, but that's all the emotions I had to process. So is there something that you're holding on to right now? Is there something that you need to process? Is there a book you need to read? Is there a podcast that could help you? Maybe it's listening to this. And then can you like just reflect on it for a minute? Just tell yourself how much you've been through. And even though we don't know how this will end, that we are exactly where we need to be. Yep. Thank you.